Hello, uh, Trump's pick for Attorney General and CIA happy to undermine civil liberties increasing surveillance. This is an unfortunate and not a huge surprise, but it appears that Trump's administration is going to be much worse for civil liberties and surveillance. Earlier today, Donald Trump named his choice head of CIA Mike Pompeo. Let's start with Pompeo. In an opted piece he, for Wall Street Journal back in January this year, Pompeo called for expanding surveillance powers rather than limiting them. He criticized the U.S. Freedom Act and any other attempt to even moderately cut back on surveillance and said we had to go the other direction, claiming what's needed is fundamental upgrade to America's surveillance capabilities. Quote, Congress should pass a law reestablishing collection of all metadata and combining it with publicly available financial and lifestyle information into a cons comprehensive searchable database. Legal and bureaucratic impediments to surveillance should be removed. That includes Presidential Policy Directive 28, which bestows privacy rights on foreign foreigners and imposes burdensome requirements to justify data collection. Unquote. While at the least the same editorial said that a backdoor encryption products would do little good, he's no fan of encryption. He just thinks that if you use it it should be considered a red flag that you're up to no good. Quote There has been much debate about whether Providers of communication, hardware, and software in the U.S. should be obligated to give the government backdoor access. Such a mandate would do little good since terrorists would simply switch to foreign or home-built encryptions. New te technologies can cloak messages and background noise, rendering them difficult to detect. So, all in the name of um, terrorists goes on and I guess he combines this with Eric Snowden he attacks former reformers and those who support er Eric Snowden while announcing his own bill to give the NSA greater surveillance powers quote those who today suggest that US Freedom Act which gutted the NSA made a program enables intelligence community to better prevent and investigate threats against the U.S. are lying. I would use that word intentionally because these candidates know better. Less intelligence capabilities equals less safety in the name of safety because they hate you for your freedoms, folks. So that's why they'll take them. Now, it goes on to say that Mike Pompeo declared him as a traitor who should be given the death sentence. Quote, it's absolutely the case that we have not been able to secure all the American information that we need to and that we had the traitor Eric Stolden steal that information. He should be brought back from Russia and given due process and I think the proper outcome would be that he would be given a death sentence for having put friends of mine, friends of yours, who served in the military today at enormous risk. Because of the information he stole and then released it to foreign powers. So, I mean, you see what's coming down the pike, folks? Whistleblowing, whistleblowers. I think Trump, not Obama put more whistleblowers in jail, jail than anybody, I think, than all presidents combined. But, see... This isn't a war on terror. It's a war of terror, and it's a war on you. It's been a war on you. Full-spectrum dominance. Anyway, Pompeo has also defended CIA's torture program. Quote, These men and women are not torturers. They are patriots, and the program being used within the law, within the Constitution. So, this is... Mr. Pompeo's debut and he's telling you because 
remember, that means they're going to be torturing here in the United States. Um, if you're keeping up with how these laws are changing to foreign to domestic, and that's what they're always doing. Um, so what I want to tie this in is into Scalia, Supreme Court Justice, dies at 79. He was a big proponent and an, um, a defender of the Fourth Amendment. Uh, you should really check it out. And because of him, they're not going into your phones. Um, he was striking down people who went to the uh, Supreme Court. Um, he was uh, striking down any type of... Um, Fourth Amendment breach that the district attorney, um, that the prosecution would use. And what I'm seeing is, is a dismantlement of the Fourth Amendment. That's right. Once they take your Fourth Amendment, the Fourth Amendment is probably the most important um, amendment on there is the Fourth Amendment. I mean... You could say your guns, don't get me wrong, guns are good too, but um, this is just going to dissolve any type of um, um, fight you could have um, because of the Fourth Amendment being breached. And that, I mean, once the Fourth Amendment is breached, this guy um, is talking, Pompeo is talking about using all data against you on your phone who you're talking to who you're um hanging out with and using that as probable cause and not even at that point of probable cause because they're trying to get rid of burdensome barotic uh things like that as probable cause so for all those who want to think this is all by coincidence People dying, people put in, just know that the surveillance state is being pushed by no other than this administration. It was going to be pushed, doesn't matter who came in, but it's time to wake up, folks. You, you, your country's turned your back on, on you, I think, since the dawn of time, there's there's never been a government for the people and by the people. Um, maybe it started kind of like that in, in the inception, but uh, just go ahead and read the links. Maybe if you um, if if you feel like it, you know what I mean. There might be. A, I mean, it's not. I'm not talking about Kanye West. I'm not talking about all those things to distract you, you know, I'm not talking about your chakras or nothing like that, but these are something, things are going to have to deal with you in your day-to-day -day life, so maybe you might find that important.